The brute force strategy works essentially as it says in the name. You brute force your way to the solution. It can be used to solve basically any problem, although whether it's something you would actually want to use is a different story. The brute force approach is a rigorous one. You solve a problem by systematically checking all the possibilities in order to find the solution. There are no shortcuts or optimizations. This is often the easiest way to solve a problem, and the algorithms produced are pretty simple. However, they are usually very inefficient. If you can find another algorithm design strategy to use instead, then do. Due to their inefficiencies and large time complexities, brute force algorithms don't scale well. The larger the problem, the slower these algorithms are going to be, since there's going to be more possibilities to check through. Not only do they become slower, but they also use a lot of memory and processing power, so may be totally impractical for some larger problems. That being said, brute force algorithms are not all bad, and there may be times where you'd actually want to use them. One positive is that they guarantee results. If there's a solution to be found, then that solution will be found. They can also be effective for small problems. If you're working from a very small number of inputs, then it might end up being insignificant as to whether you use brute force or a more complex design strategy. They can also be applied to basically any problem, so whatever you apply it to, you know it's going to work. This differs from the other strategies that can typically only be used for particular types of problems. Finally, we can use brute force strategies for benchmarking, which is the process of comparing the performance of one algorithm against a standard. So, we can use the brute force algorithm as the standard against which we compare other algorithms. Bubble sort is an example of a brute force algorithm, which goes through an array of unsorted numbers and systematically compares and swaps adjacent elements. Every pair of elements is checked until no further swaps are needed. It sorts arrays in a time complexity of O of n squared, significantly slower than if we were to have employed other strategies, such as divide and conquer in the form of merge sort, which would have had the quicker time complexity of O of n log n. In summary, brute force algorithms are simple, yet often inefficient. Efficient. They can become unfeasible for larger problems due to the memory and processing power required, and as a result, they don't scale well. They can be applied to basically any problem and guarantee that the solution will be found, and are also commonly used for benchmarking. Put any questions you might have in the comments and I will answer them. If you want to learn more about the other algorithm design strategies, then subscribe so you don't miss those videos when they come out, and I'll see you then. Have a good one.